Hi guys, this is Amy Lee, so you can call me Amy. Have you ever thought, you know, I could go vegan, but it's actually very expensive. I see around me, I see all the vegan substitutes, I see people eating vegan, and I'm not sure I can do that right now with my budget, maintain that with the amount of money that I make or the amount of money that I have for food, and hey, that's understandable. That's completely understandable. Not all of us can afford eating vegan mock meats or like vegan cheese, any of that type of stuff, which is why I wanted to make this video and help everybody that actually does want to maybe give veganism a try, but they don't want to spend too much money or they want to like experiment for weeks or months. They want to go vegan, but they're on a budget. When I was 18 and I had just finished watching all these videos about the animal industry and how the animals are treated in the farms, what animal products actually do to our bodies and to the environment. And I was so motivated. I wanted to go vegan and I wanted to do it as soon as possible. After that, I was like, okay, let me look at my bank account. I currently have $5 right now. So I thought, okay, how am I gonna do this? Because I'm a college student I don't have a job. I live with my parents and I don't really get an allowance really. My parents are the ones who buy food here. So how, how am I gonna do this? How the heck am I gonna do this? So I would think, okay, what are the foods that I'm eating right now? Let me think. Usually she would make rice and beans with like some type of meat and salad. So back then I thought, okay, well, I want to eat everything except the meat. I'm lucky in the sense that Puerto Rican food actually is pretty easy to find vegan options for. We have root vegetables. We have rice and beans. We have plantains. So a lot of the Puerto Rican food is already vegan. So it made it easier for me. I had to eat in my college cafeteria. I'd be like, okay, what can I eat? So usually they would have rice and beans with some type of like plantain or root vegetable or sometimes they would even have, I think it's called a bean salad, which was so good. I would also sometimes treat myself to an acai bowl. They used to have a little stand and I would go there and, and buy it sometimes. And it was pretty nice. It was pretty, pretty good. Other than the fact that the food alternatives that I had back then were very very limited and also very very expensive I wasn't about to drop five dollars for a mock meat or something like that just because and then that would feed me for probably one day maybe two if I'm lucky so I again I didn't have money for that I took it upon myself to make this video and show you guys some tips and tricks to be vegan on a budget because I know that it can be expensive but it doesn't have to be my first tip is make sure you're doing enough leftovers so you know the whole thing about meal prepping it usually works in this case because let's say that you buy a whole pack of rice and a couple cans of beans you could literally eat that for the whole week so instead of buying lunch for example when you go to work or college or wherever have that for the rest of the week same thing with oats i believe they're one of the most cheapest foods out there you could actually do so much with oats actually you could make oatmeal pancakes which you know up there uh i got the recipe you can make oatmeal you could even make oat cookies if you actually wanted to oats are a very versatile ingredient as are potatoes as are rice and beans those four things can be some really good staples for you let's say you're making pasta for dinner so make the whole thing especially if you're just eating for yourself you at least have three portions that you can use for the next few days again it's much cheaper to be taking meals from your house, from your home, buy in bulk, make them in, in your house. Other than the fact that it's probably healthier and better for you because you actually know what's going into those foods, then to buy it from somewhere else is probably more expensive. It's probably not gonna be as healthy for you. Another good thing you can do is also plan your meals. When you go to a grocery shop, actually have a grocery list. You can plan your recipes. You can take a couple recipes Write down all the ingredients you need. Make sure when you go grocery shopping, you buy those things specifically. Don't be trailing off. Just stick to your list. 
stick to the recipes that you want to try but i would look at recipes and then look at the things that i could do so let's say that i wanted to use quinoa for one of my recipes so i would use quinoa to eat it with vegetables and maybe tofu because tofu is also pretty you know budget friendly it's not super expensive and then i could also use quinoa if i wanted to do a salad and i could even do probably veggie burgers with quinoa so just make sure that whatever you're buying you can also use for other things other recipes another thing i wanted to touch up on was the fact that people mistake going vegan for everything having to be organic listen i don't buy organic all the time i know we have the whole thing about gmos and stuff but for people who are on a budget they cannot always buy organic you can go to a farmer's market and buy the fruits and veggies there they're probably going to be cheaper you could try buying foods frozen instead of fresh so for example frozen berries or frozen veggies you could get those instead of the fresh kind you don't need to buy vegan alternatives every single time that you go into the grocery store you can treat them as a luxury. Maybe you won't get them this time. Maybe you can get them once once a month and then treat that as a luxury meal. You can just buy one of all the things and then stick to one and then maybe switch it out every single month or so. There are ways to make really fulfilling and healthy foods if you just focus on the whole foods. You don't need vegan cheese, vegan meats, vegan stuff or vegan alternatives every single time. I treat them as a luxury. Right now, I can't afford them, but that is because I also make food my priority. I try my best to focus my spending habits on, on food, on trying foods and, and making that my priority instead of buying something random off of Target or Amazon. I'm just saying that has worked for me, so maybe it'll work for you. Before you go out to eat with your friends or family or whatever, make sure you eat something beforehand. So like if you get to the place, you can just have a little drink or something small like an appetizer and it won't be as expensive as well. Granted, most places probably don't have a whole lot of vegan alternatives anyway, so you'd be saving money and saving your sanity. It's a two-in-one. I have some suggestions for foods that you can eat while being on a, on a budget. My diet looked a whole lot like this. Smoothies with frozen fruits, water, and cinnamon. That was and it. And then I would sometimes have toast with peanut butter. I would have oats, oatmeal, oatmeal pancakes. Sometimes for lunch, I would just have rice and beans with a salad. And the dressing that I would have is Italian dressing, which is probably the cheap, one of the cheapest ones out there and the most common. I would make a bean salad sometimes. I would do quinoa, chickpeas, carrots, and spinach. I also didn't know how to cook back then, so it makes a whole lot of sense that now I know how to put flavor into my food. Back then, I was 18. Keep in mind I was 18, I did not know how to cook. And then for my snacks and stuff, I would probably do plantain chips because those were always around where I was studying at the time. I would do a whole lot of rice cakes. So I don't, I don't know if anyone has ever tried rice cakes, but you can definitely do rice cakes, peanut butter, and then add some banana on it. Perfect. For pasta, you can do spaghetti, marinara, and some veggies. I've tried that a couple times and it's pretty good. You could also add chickpeas into that pasta. I know it sounds odd, but I promise it actually tastes really good. Obviously, you can also get tofu. You can do a lot of things with tofu. You could do a scrambled tofu. You could do like a square, square tofu and then add that into the ramen packs that you could probably buy for super cheap. But make sure you get the vegan ones though. I know there's a, a couple of them that are not, but the actual noodles are vegan. You could do uh, an Italian pasta salad, which is pretty good because you just need the pasta, some veggies, and some Italian dressing, and that's it. And maybe, maybe if you can't afford it, some vegan cheese. But it's not needed. You don't actually need it. It's just, it's like a cherry on top. Those are some tips that I had if you're interested in going vegan on a budget. If you're on a budget and you, for the life of you, cannot buy vegan stuff, there are ways to do it. I promise you. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like my video. Leave a comment down below if there's any other topics or anything else that you would like for me to try. And hit the bell notification thing to make sure that you know when I'm uploading a video. Bye!